Hello guys and welcome to this top 4 game from the European Championships. I'm Ben from the Knight of the Black Quarter and today we have Jacob on the left playing Knight's Watch Fealty against Reinhardt on the right playing Targaryen Lord of the Crossing. Uh, both these gentlemen have done very well to get this far. Um, and this is one of those sort of classic matchups of can the rush outrush the uh, the wall kind of you know um, control deck. So we are on to setups. We have a Dute Rhaegar, a Targaryen loyalist, and two. Uh, I've what outriders? Wild riders? I've completely forgotten. It's been ages since I've seen this. I've forgotten their names. And uh, we have a Shadow Tower, a King's Road, a Messenger Raven. And uh, that is one of the newer Night's Watch cards, so give me one second. Good start here, Ben. Good start. Um, I should say, guys, I'm very thankful. Uh, just, just a quick shout out to say, guys, I'm very thankful to everyone that years let me record. It's, um, you know, it is it is very nice. It's up to, obviously, up to the people involved uh, to let me. And it's always, always um, great to be able to get this content out. Um, that is Sir Malister. On the Night's Watch side, uh, whenever you, oh, I just clicked off him. One second, he's in the uh, a deck of thrones. Um, where he's defending, he has renowned. And uh, the Targaryens, the really basic card from Corsair. I've forgotten the name of. <laughs> is the Braided Warriors, of course, a two-cost three-string monocon with military. So we have building orders into heads and spikes. So heads on spikes. So um, I think I might mention a previous video of Reinhardt. I uh, played against him in round eight. Maybe not into that previous video, of Reinhardt. Maybe I played him around uh, round eight, uh, the second day of the Swiss. And yeah, he uh, completely obliterated me with heads on spikes, followed by heads on spikes, fought into Winter Festival, and killed my, to my my best two characters I had in hand at uh, those times. So yeah, that was uh, that was fun. So, uh, I'm assuming that Reinhardt's picked uh, Jacob to go first. And we have a... Um, I think that's the Grizzled Miner. Uh, Damn, these new Night's Watch cards throwing me. And uh, I've got the building orders. You'd imagine he's looking for the wall. Maybe you'd take a Craven? Probably not at this point, actually. There's not anything worth Cravening. That indeed was the Grizzle Miner who was uh, killed by heads on spikes. Uh, a five cost, uh, four strength, power, monocon, and for every attachment, was it location or attachment or just location of the uh, from Night's Watch, his cost is reduced by one. And we have a Craven taken for a uh, building orders. You'd imagine he won't be using that this turn because there's probably not a worthwhile target. Uh, you probably don't care too much about the Braided Warriors. Rygor can't have it, and you kind of want him in a challenge because you can't Chikaris you as easily while he's in a challenge. And you're not going to put on the target loyalist, are you? Let's face it. So they draw up, and we're on to the first marshalling phase. And so Jacob gets his four gold. It's lacking a couple of key pieces at the moment for this defense. And we have a Rose Road played out. Frizz Limited. Uh, two gold. Uh, that was, should be Castle Blackburn. So if it was a challenge action, you can uh, get a character to stand back up and uh, gain two strength. Quite useful in the earlier challenge against crossing. Not so good normally against the later challenge, unless you are just trying to block the unopposed. Uh, looks like I might have two Cravens in hand already. If so, once the big characters come out, that can be pretty detrimental. And we have the steward of the wall, so um, Jacob now can defend all three challenges, but he is lacking um, kind of claim, especially if uh, Cold Drago hits the board. 
and gets a double military, although he you know, he could afford it. It would be all his gold, but he could afford Cold Drago. And there's a Cold Drago in hand, in fact. <laughs> I promise you I've not watched this game before. I think I was still be trying not to watch it, so you'd be commentating on it. So, does he go for the double military? That could put some real pressure on J uh, Jacob to start with. We've also got some unsullied in hand. I think there might be a nightmares in there as well. Whatever he's doing, he's having a he's uh, having a bit of a think here. Now going by the uh, oh, so you got Targaryen loyalist, and yeah, looks like the unsullied's coming out. They indeed are. Going to keep Cold Drago in hand for a minute. Jacob just double checking what they do. So actually, Unsolid are quite good in crossing because they uh, they cancel, especially on the first challenge, because they cancel out that minus one you get in some respects. Kind of evens the field. Obviously, once you've got Danny out, then you're kind of getting minus two on there, and it really helps to counter it all. So, um, Reinhardt looks like he can sit on one gold. Oh, I do apologize. He couldn't get Cold Drago out. This is not This is crossing, not um, filthy, isn't it? So, yes, he, he needed some econ to get Cold Drago out. So, we have an intrigue coming in. That's an interesting choice. Assumably that's to um, make it so that uh, Reinhardt can't do the crossing. Can't get crossing off this turn if he wants to defend, depending on how much he values your hand. Now, I'm not 100% sure because it gives you a... I'm never keen when I'm going first on the first turn to give my opponent power to, um, to take unless I'm convinced I can hold on to it. And Carl Drago is taken for claim. It's a good pull. Is he going to go aggressive here? That seems a little reckless. See, the other reason I might not have done that intrigue challenge running as past challenges is that way there's no easy challenge for Reinhardt to do first. And if you fully defend, you've got the Shadow Tower that could stop someone from attacking. So, for instance, this situation here, you have the power coming in. You could fully defend with uh, Sir Malister, barring a Jakaris. And even then, and then you can't get all three challenges off. Uh, stand in with Castle Black and then use the Shadow Tower to stop uh, probably the dragon from attacking at which point then he can't do all three challenges just slows him down a little bit because they're currently attacking for two he'd be defending for three four five with uh, castle black obviously it does put you still put your threat of Jakaris first and if that goes off then you are in trouble yeah, that's the other reason I'm not sure doing the power challenge, but so the, the intrigue was worth it. I need to get Cold Drago, so <laughs> risk ward, I guess. I don't know, let me know what you think. But also, Jacob is going to stand him. And we have a gold. This is for Jakaris, I'm assuming. It is. So that does. This kind of does. Um. And then, of course, he's going to die at the end of the challenge, isn't he? Because the uh, Jakaris will... Because the plus two strength buff will wear off. So, does he have a hand's judgment? He is sitting on one gold.
Yeah, I think Jacob's not quite realised yet because his now strength is now down to um, his strength goes back to normal, which would be OB zero. Yeah. So you'd think here when the military comes in now, you'd claim the maybe claim the steward of the wall, get the raven back to hand, and draw some cards, and then play counting coppers next turn. Because I don't know if you would march a um, steward of the wall, but. Um, you know, it wouldn't be the getting the board cleared wouldn't be awful. So um, Dom goes there to Reinhard. The Raven's going to come back to hand, as we said. So Reinhard's currently a five power. That's not a bad first turn. And as I said, and he's I would imagine he's unless he wants to get Danny out because we have just seen Danny in hand. You think he might be going for? Um, a heads on spikes here again. And if you can hit with that, this could, this could really accelerate the board state. And I think um, Jacob could be in a lot of trouble. I'm seeing he had a practice blade in the hand. He could have played that on. He could have played that on um, some Malister. And then he'd been safe from Jakaris. And I think you, you just need to get your characters against. Um, Especially in a deck where you're designed just to oppose challenges to win the game. Um, just getting that um, that plus two, that plus one strength would have kept him alive. So I'm assuming, and he's got, oh, and there goes the practice play for claim, uh, for reserve, sorry. I know sometimes it can seem a waste to put it on a um, one on a one um, on a character who's already got the miniature icon, but that plus one strength, especially when you get Howard out, you can move the strength around. It's pretty useful, and we have seen just seems got Howard in hand. So Jacob here, do you think he'd be playing Counting Coppers? Try and drop his hand. He's got some good econ on the board. He could probably play out pretty much anything he sees, or the other option is to go here to serve to try and stop the death and destruction. He's gone Valor. Very interesting. So Valor into Heads on Spikes. Wow, I was not expecting Valor. <laughs> I probably should have because he cleared his own board. But I was not expecting Valor. I, from the slight body language from Reinhardt, I don't think he was expecting Valor as well. And here's another character, so that's seven power. And that build of the wall, that would have done some really good work on um, for Jacob. And the card is pretty bonkers. Um, especially his only one attachment or location away from him being switched on. So Jacob has three gold here. What can he play out? Uh, Reinhard's, only, Reinhard's only actually got one more gold than Jacob at the moment. So, um, in that respect, um, and and lacking the icons to get uh, for crossing, that probably was a pretty good play. So we've got another King's Road. I can see a Craven, which currently can't be played. Uh, looked like a, vet, a vet Swarm Brother, I think it is. The one where the builder where uh, locations are, are one cheaper. So, King's Raid is spent. And we have a recruiter, I think that one is. Well, no, it's not the recruiter, is it? The recruiter is a really similar art to, um, I think, two similar art to, uh, that's the Eastwatch Carpenter. I think the recruiter and the carpenter, their art is very similar. Uh, reaction after you collect income, collect one gold for every two locations you control. I guess there's only so much that you can do with. Um, there's only so much you can do with guys in cloaks, <laughs> art-wise. Um, we had, we did have the uh, swarm brother played out to put a king's red out for free. Uh, 
And the King's Raid is spent to bring out Eamon. Just lacking a military icon. One gold for a practice blade to get that uh, to get that in a military icon. So you can now defend all three challenges. Oh, we've got filthy probably um, for the messenger even. I would assume. Yes, we do. So not a bad, uh, not a bad re um, t valor turn there for Jacob. Reinhard, although he has a seven nil lead currently, um, he's lacking characters. Uh, there is a chance that obviously Jacob, could, uh, sorry Jacob, that um, Reinhard could just do his own valor uh, next, uh, and you know, kind of reset the board again, because he, I don't know, he's not really losing much. I think that might be what he's pondering. Uh, he's got another Cold Draco in hand. So, so we have a Targa Loyalist. We have a Plaza of Pride. So you can discard a card to uh, stand another card with, with uh, printed cost up to three higher than the card you uh, discarded. And I th think. Is that, I can't say that was another Jakar, if that was Jakar or Nightmares in hand. But I think Reinhardt's passing there. Sitting on two gold. As Jacob here, I'd be tempted just to defend this. Because Reinhard can't really win that first challenge. So let's see, does the power, uh, power for first? The first one you just defend, then Shadow Tower. Stop the dragon from attacking. Win Dom, and I think you'd take that as a good Valor turn. Re uh, repopulating your board. And... Um, uh, slowing down Reinhard. Ooh, we do have a goal being spent. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Nightmares on... Um, on Eamon to get a milk on Eamon. So there's no gold left, so the Jakaris threat is gone. And to me, that signals that it's going to be a Valor next turn. So we have a power challenge coming in for one. Which will be opposed. So, one claim. Oh, no claim, sorry, of course. Power. Interesting, actually, Reinhard chose to oppose that. There's no claim. Maybe he figured... Maybe, yeah, maybe he's actually not going to... No, he's... Yeah. And they just go straight to Dom by the looks of this. Yep, they've just gone to Dom. Interesting. And now I imagine we're going to get a Valor here from Reinhardt. But if he does Valor, he's going to be very... Although he's still got the 7-1 power lead, he's going to be very behind on Econ. Whereas Jacob's not doing too bad for Econ, depending on what plot he plays. I mean, he could... 
probably assume he's got one highish gold plot in there. And he's got the Rose Road. I think he'd probably recover quicker. I do apologise again, guys, for the uh, the saying top 16 at the top again, and this is the top four. I think I might get it right for the final. <laughs> Okay, so we're on to plots. What have we got? Valor kind of seems to make sense with... No, counting coppers into retaliation. Very interesting include in a uh, Night's Watch deck. But I guess it makes sense with his board presence being a bit higher at the moment. If he can, um, if he can get through the storm... Of these challenges, he can hit back for um, well for two claim on all the plots and as all, all the uh, all, all two claim, he could do some serious damage. I say Reinhardt has only got two gold currently, so he's going to struggle to get much out. Tiger Lord is knelt. The series is brought into play. And we have a um, a crone of um, Delf uh, crone put into play. Uh, crone strength to whenever a character discarded from hand, you can choose to kneel a Defraki character, which currently is only her, to to kill the character. So uh, Jacob gets his five gold. Spent three of it, but looks of it to get out um, Sir Royston. Still got those, um, still got those cravings in hand, and still had nothing to play them on. Uh, you mentioned Phil to be a nail to the second for the Messenger Raven. And we got a uh, builder at the wall, so you can kneel him to reduce the cost of the next building or. Um, Attachment by one. I know the messenger even. Interesting choice not to use ability for that. And he has passed. So on to um, on to Reinhard for challenges. Does he even pass here? 
Is it worth risking? Is it worth risking your uh, your board state? I'm gonna say, I imagine he is going to Valor. And he has passed challenges. I do apologize, guys. It's the uh, audio is quite low on this game, so I'm, I am struggling a little bit with uh, what they are doing. Now, I'm assuming this is probably a military. Currently for seven. Uh, no defense. It indeed was a military. So he's going to get rid of the practice blade with uh, the series as he dies. So that means now he can get through an unopposed power challenge. And then I think he probably wants to, but he does mean he can't win the intrigue. Which I think is what Reinhardt's more worried about. He's got a lot of good characters in hand, and he probably wants to keep them alive. So, yeah, we have a power challenge for two. No defenders, so that's going to be two claim and the unopposed. So we're now back to f we're up to five all. So after that massive start by Reinhardt, it's slowly slipping here. As this Night's Watch just get as Jacob saves getting the board presence, which um, Reinhardt's just not seen the economy to keep up with. But early Valor seems like it was the right call. You might as well try the intrigue, but it will. I imagine this will be fully defended and. It is. That probably was the probably was the more important challenge I'd have said. So Reinhard gets Dom, and we're currently sitting at six five to Reinhard. But I say that is a massive swing back in the favour of um, Jacob. And he uses the messenger and draw another card. I yeah, you've got to measure Reinhard's um. My house Valor can't be far away here, because otherwise this board state is just going to press him into the ground. Saying that if he's even running Valor, you know, not all rush decks, and this is a rush deck, uh, attentively, run Valor. I'll just 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 telling Jacob to check the reserve because the reserve is four. A penny for Reinhardt's thoughts right now. And the message Draven is discarded. He has done a lot of good work. If you see them early enough, I still think they're probably about the best draw engine in the game. Trading with the Potoshi into um, for the watch. So Reinhardt was obviously waiting until he's trying, probably trying to see some economy. Has not seen it, so he's just going to spend big with trading to get his big characters out. So I'm assuming uh, here Jacob's letting Reinhard go first because your watch deck, <laughs> nice watch deck. That's probably the best plan. And can he? What can he draw him to? So just in a haunted forest in Jacob's hands. If he had the wall by now, I think he would be well away of this, and he'd be. Uh, I think he'd be in a much, much better place than um, Reinhard. But without the wall, I think he's suffering a little bit. So Daenerys comes out with a dupe. Uh, he's got Sejura in hand, so I'd imagine he probably would come out, or maybe the Stealth Dragon. Um, so two gold. Now we have got uh, Viserion, on this step. The dragon gives Danny stealth, and he's gonna set on one gold. 
so that's pretty good. The minus one strength to all defend it to all characters is going to be pretty crippling, unless uh, Jacob can find the wall, because it means two of his power icons can't defend at all. So Jacob's getting, getting an extra gold because of the Eat Watch Carpenter. So I believe that gives him 9 gold. And he can reduce the first location by 1. and uh, Or by 2. So, so the first, sorry, the first location is 1 cheaper and he can reduce it by another 1. And we have a Milk and Craven immediately played on Danny. So um, that solves that problem. Right now I must be thinking, what do I need to do? <laughs> I'm saying he was 7-0 up on the, sec on the second plot phase. And now I say he's back down to 6-5 and just seems to not be able to do anything really. Uh, we have we have the um, haunted forest played out. He just needs to see that wall. If he has the wall, he'd be la he'd be. I think he'd be laughing right now. Maybe the wall and one more character, so he can just so he can defend all the challenge out the fear of being Jakaris too much. So that looks like free gold. On Howder, I do just worry there is a lack. There is definitely a lack of saves and dupes on this board. And passes. Obviously, the first challenge doesn't count. The second challenge can be opposed by the haunted forest if he doesn't, um, unless he really wants to defend it. I say, Warehouse is not in a great place. I think he's past challenges. And the problem is that first one comes in, and just you know, he, he Reinhard can't win it, but Jacob could still win it and use the uh, Shadow Tower. I think he's more just going. Let's just play defensively here. Um, probably look at doing a power challenge with Sir Royston and the Carpenter, and then you can nail the sh you can nail Craven, the Shadow Tower, and the Haunted Forest to up the strength to, to nine. At which point uh, it can't be defended. Well, it could be defended. Sorry, can't uh, Jacob can't. Uh, sorry, uh, Reinhard can't win it. I think that might be the best move here. So I think that's all you really care about at this point. And the military is not going to do much. You probably just kill the Davraki Crone, although it also does put damage to Reinhard's board state. Unless you're playing close call, I'm not sure the intrigue's worth it. It could be, but you know, um, I, I don't think he's playing confiscation. I think we would have seen confiscation by now. To get rid, I mean, most nice watch players don't run confiscation. So what's Jacob gonna do? Jacob had a bit of an up, up and down um, struggle to get here, so he, um, so Jacob, uh, his, uh, he, I should record. I was actually going to record his top sixteen game, but his opponent didn't turn up in time. It was half an hour late, so he got disqualified. So uh, he kind of we have a footage from sitting there for five minutes, and then and that was it. And then in the top eight game, he was playing. Um, uh, he was play He 
forgot on the very last turn his trigger for um, the winter festival, and it went to a um, and then it went to a uh, count counting a number of cards, and he lost the tiebreaker on that. At which point his opponent very graciously, um, very graciously, sorry, um, uh, forfeited the forfeited to because he didn't want, he didn't want to win in that that way. And um, that was Robert, who we had on the the Targ um, Targ Kraken player we had on the um, most of the Swiss rounds. Uh, absolute gentleman, uh, didn't have to do it, but he said, you know, you you won the game. You, it's just the way he took the power as well. He kind of um, he had said it in the right order, but he took the power in the wrong order, as far, from what I believe uh, I was told. And so the judge said, you can't take the power. Um, so we're having a. Um, so Jacob decides not to do any challenges here and um, wins uh, wins Dom. So we're currently a six all. I think he needs to do some challenges there. I think he should have been a bit more aggressive, done some power challenges, because you know at some point a Valor is probably coming because this is Targaryen, and even the, or or at least a Blood of the Dragon. When the Blood Dragon hits, you're gonna lose two of your characters immediately. Uh, and it is the Valor. I predicted. So I think he needed to do some power challenges there. Risk it. Because the Valor's coming. Um, his board's going to be wiped. He's only got two cards in hand. So his fill up's not going to be great. Um, and although, yes, um, Reinhardt's going to be down to a milked and cravened Danny. I still think he needs to be a bit more aggressive there. And if he got Jakarist, he got Jakarist. Um, I think his board went a bit too wide, especially once you put Howder down. Howder's a really, really important card for the Night's Watch's matchup. Being able to boost the strength, he, I think he, um, if um, Ryan had any questions about whether to Valor or not, I think that would have been the tipping point. We'd go, no, I'm, I'm going to Valor this turn. But Ryan only has that two gold, and he is spending it immediately on Sajura. Now we can do two challenges from this, obviously. Because of the um, because uh, the powers of pride, obviously Jakaris is back off the table. And there's the winter festival. Okay, so let's see, can play something else at least. I do want. I did think at the time, although I could understand the reason behind getting rid of the uh, messenger raven. I never like getting rid of draw. Is that another haunted forest? Another haunted forest. Now this isn't actually that beneficial after the first one, unless you've got a big board presence. The second haunted forest isn't that great. So Jorah can still win the challenge. Um, unless he can get a character out. Because obviously once you lose a challenge, they're, they're both knelt. So I'm assuming here he doesn't have much of a hand. No, maybe not. Three, four. Deep Dolores Head. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Question that initially, but Deep Dolores Head does make some sense. Because, um. Because obviously. Um. I don't know, it doesn't. I don't know, I kept him in hand. Just played him out with, um. Yeah, I should think better of keeping him in hand, wouldn't he? You um, you keep him in hand. Um, he if he comes and does the military, you don't care. First, you don't care. If he comes as intrigue first. You oppose with Dolores Ed, boost his strength with um, the Castle Black, and then use um, then use the Shadow Tower to stop uh, stop him stop um, stop him from attacking back. I'm not sure he needed to do that. I think you definitely, definitely do the intrigue here. Uh, 
milk being discarded to Santa Jura. And Sajura's going to get another portrayal token and another um, power. I think it's worth doing because if you didn't want to discard a card, then Danny would have to defend and then you'd win Dom. So Dom's going to go to Reinhard and uh, Winter Festival. Okay, so Winter Festival power. So uh, Jacob's up to eight. Reinhard's up to nine, but obviously two of those powers quite in quite a uh, precarious situation because um, one more draw wins one more challenge. He goes by. He goes away. Um, what can what's Jacob going to play here? So Reinhard's been pretty adamant that he knows where he's playing. He's just put it down. What is Jacob going to play? Kind of, I assume one of his plots is here to serve, which is now a dead plot because Eamon's dead. So unless this one is a close call, it's a counting coppers into a into a winter festival. So uh, Reinhard's not too far away from closing this out. I think Jacob there is just ch just double checking that um, does he does he get the power first or the betrayal taken first and you get the betrayal taken first so if you're on 14 power win a, ch <coughs> win a challenge to Jura he will um, you will lose the power before before he can get a chance to win with Renowned because uh, it is a reaction to winning the challenge now I'm surprised he didn't play this sooner if I'm honest um, I think counting coppers would be better a few turns ago Try and draw into some dupes, and I know we, he hasn't seen any. We now know, but a dupes is so so important um, for these nights. Watch uh, little chuds, especially against Targ, because they are at some point. You've just got to assume Targaryen is running Valor. So we have uh, five gold for Reinhardt. He's going first. He has got nightmares. So if Jacob, I think, has just seen the wall, not that he can defend it at the moment, and not as a power icon out. Um, yeah, uh, although he's got no gold, so he could get the wall out, but he still needs to be able to defend an extra challenge. An extra challenge, because currently he can only defend the intrigue. Uh, one, the other first unopposed does not count. The second unopposed though would count. So unless, uh, unless of course Jacob can get a practice blade on um, uh, on Dolores' head. That would change things. What's he got? He's only got three gold. He can't do much here. Uh, another Rose Road played out, so that's some econ at least. Mm. And we have the Iron Throne. So, assumably, he's not. Yeah, 
finishing. Oh, um, oh, and we have got the Grizzle. Oh, the Grizzle Miner. So here we go. So he can now defend all three challenges, but he still hasn't got the wall out, and that is in hand. And mm. So this is going to be military first. You'd have thought. Again, there's no gold, so you do not have to worry about Jakaris. So the military. Military for free, which will still win. So the deep for um, Jalora said it's going to be taken. Now the interesting thing here is um, how heavily uh, Jacob decides to try and defend the entry challenge from, from Jura because obviously that would that would um, uh, so that would stop the uh, what's it the uh, so that would lose two power for Reinhard. Obviously. So this is the power challenge. So I would, I think I would defend this, stand in with Castle Black, and then use the Shadow Tower to stop her from attacking again so that if he wants to do all three challenges he has to do it with Sejura is he going to use the shadow he's not using the shadow tower Crown of gold to stand to say, and that's the thing now. So now she could come and do the intrigue, which can be opposed. He can't. If the things you let this go and oppose, that's two more power. Yeah, I think I think he should use that shadow tower. Why didn't he? Am I missing something from the text? So Dolores said is going to oppose, so go on for crossing. And I'm not hundred percent sure what that night's watch card is. Um that was what was that? And we're going straight to Dom. In that's interesting. Um, hmm. I think he needs to be more. I think Jacob should be slightly more aggressive. In this. I'm not trying to criticise. He got to the the semi the semi-finals. I didn't. But I think I think I would have been a bit more aggressive. Um, and gone in gone in on that that challenge myself. So that I think was. Oh, that was the Banner Stronghold uh, that was discarded, and the other Banner Stronghold to the end of the uh, challenge. Character, uh, that character gets X strength, X number of builders. 
So we have March the Wool, which I assume Dora's uh, gonna be discarded. I mean, I was checking out the Shadow Tower, wasn't I, to see if there's any reason why he wasn't defending and using the Shadow Tower. Okay, so Dolores' head is disappearing. Uh, shadow Tower. So after after you win a challenge, near, uh, near, near the Shadow Tower, to choose a creating character. The end, yeah, the comic can attack it. There was almost no reason not to do it. He won the challenge. And I think I would have just stopped her from attacking and say, kind of go to kind of go to um, yeah go on then you want to win this challenge bring Sajor in um, question here because obviously here to serve has been flipped and the only maester is dead so apparently I think they're saying you just have to shuffle your deck because you technically have you do have to search even though you're not going to be able to put an um, aim into play because he's dead. So, um, semantics rather than anything else. So, Reinhard here is free power away from winning. Uh, Jacob's still on nine power, so it's not unfeasible, but I think with time being called, he could be in trouble. He basically needs to get Sajora to kill himself. Um, so, four gold is spent. For the wall, unfortunately, it's a little bit too little, too late. Unless he can get a practice blade or something out, and he can't. And yeah, I think that's basically it. Because Reinhard does a military, he will kill him, and then I think he just that be won't be unopposed. But there's no way that. Um, Oh, actually, oh, let's just see if we've got to play a character. Right? As long as we can run, I can play a character out at this point. Oh, okay, so we do have a second character put into play. So maybe it's not quite over yet, but I do feel it probably. Probably, it's, oh, and there is a nightmares. So once the wall, oh, once the wall gets nightmares, I think Jacob would probably give up because I don't think he can get enough power to have any chance of winning because with Dom in the wall he can get to 12 so as long as he can find a way of getting Sajora to kill himself then he would win so Jacob has, so Reinhard has passed marshalling This way, he could read of Howdor because you could do the uh, power challenge. Oh, you know, you're actually saying that. Your strength four. I think you have to do the power challenge. Because uh, he's strength five because of the wall. He doesn't know he's got nightmares in hand, but you think you have to do the power challenge. Try and take a power off Reinhard. Reinhard can only do two challenges back because he can't do a power challenge. And that would put him at. There's the nightmares on the wall. And that is it now, surely, because without that he can't win the power challenge. But say if um, if Jacob had done the power challenge and the not all having nightmares, that that would have made it um, eleven ten. He would then have to kill the veteran builder. He could defend the intrigue. Make sure you don't defend it by enough that. Yeah, and that would actually that would that could have actually swung it. That could have been game, but I don't think it's gonna be. Look at that swung it. That would have been on 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 would play Yeah, that would that would have won him the game. That nightmares I think has saved Reinhardt if I'm doing my maths, right? Oh no, Reinhardt might want Dom actually. So we're going straight to Dom. But as he's uh, Jacob's gonna go back and say, Yeah, we haven't done the wall. Oh, there's no wall, is there? Of course, yeah. And they're working. They're working out dominance. So Reinhard's got dominance, and that is it. That is that is game. Reinhard's uh, one by thirteen power to nine. 
A uh, cracking game there guys, very well played, and uh, good luck to Reinhardt in the final. Come back in a couple of days to see that on the channel.